What do you think the government spends too much money on? I think that the government may be spending a bit too much money on safe supply and not enough money on rehab and research into how we can help substance users. Um, it really is unfortunate when someone falls to addiction, but there are other methods and other um, there, like there are other methods which are much more therapeutically efficient than the ones which are currently out there, like safe supply and, um, for example, safe injection sites are a great idea, but how much monitoring is there? And I know there's a lot going on right now with how safe supply is being trafficked and given away. I'm doing a research project right now and I talked to a few doctors from Victoria and they said that they've been seeing issues where teenagers are coming in and they are overdosing on safe supply drugs that they had bought from homeless people. So it really is a very concerning issue and I think the government's spending a bit too much money on that. Foreign countries, other people's problems. We should be focusing more on what's happening in Canada instead of places like Ukraine, Israel and places like that. I think we should be focusing more on our homeless people that are around and the youth have a hard time trying to find jobs right now. You know, and we. We have a lot of people here, but a lot of the people that are here are unskilled. We need more skilled people, more trades, more, more skills. Almost a little bit of everything. If you want a, my own opinion, you know, they should, uh, uh, especially foreign affairs, they should let them, we should look after our affairs before we start going abroad and anybody else's affairs. I think personally they're spending way too much on uh, uh, electric uh, cars and, and pushing that kind of thing on people right now when we're not ready as a country to adapt and implement it. We haven't even got the proper implementation for it and they're spending so much money on it. Uh, I know they've signed a, a little bit of a deal with Telsa, the, the car company, and uh, if, if they can build a reasonable car they will, uh, out of the taxpayer uh, pocket, put up uh, service uh, centers, uh, charging stations for them across the country. It's, to me, that's flagrant abuse right now of taxpayer money. They spend too much, uh, their, you know, uh, their salaries. You know, it's, uh, government itself, it, all the institutions uh, need to be trimmed down a bit, in my opinion. Government is spending too much money on wars and weapons. They should start investing on education and health. I go to hospital. I wait eight hours for doctors. So government should start spending on public and uh, citizens. And this would make people uh, fully resourceful in hospitals. The doctors and nurses are not available in the hospital. So we have to wait long line. They have to spend mostly on health and education. No, but healthcare, I mean, it's really well, no, no, it's really poorly managed. Uh, I was in a foreign country a couple of, uh, a week ago. I had, could, I was, my girlfriend was able to see a doctor in one hour. We had the prescription in two, and we had at the pharmacy. We were at the pharmacy three hours after. It was all done. It was a foreign country, and we're spending way more. I think we are on the G7. We are the country that spends the most on welfare, on healthcare. Sorry, and we have the, the least uh, accessible um, doctors in the G7. So obviously, we're not doing very well. The army, just like wars in general and it's been a big issue too with Palestine and the government like putting money into that I think for that we don't need it like there's no need for war there's no need to put so much money to that into like even the police I think just at some point put more money into like social workers and stuff that's what we need in schools too like students who need more help like who have ADHD and and you know issues like that like they need more help these um, vehicles of corruption that are being used today I think they can scale back investing in um, programs and projects that aren't delivering on what they're promised to deliver are you, are you uh, talking about arrive can for example yes that okay. would be a really good example that everyone's talking about today um Okay, so from what I understand and what I've been seeing, they just actually haven't been spending too much money on anything. They just haven't been spending. It's mostly been internally shifted around, particularly, not to call names, but our premier, um, particularly with him, where they just kind of kept the money amongst themselves and their party and their political donators. So I would say the issue is that they aren't spending money at all, not that they're spending too much money in one sector.